Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, June 8th, uh, June 9th, June 9th, and we're looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and SPY. So the entire overnight we have traded basically right below the base of the price probe, but above the single prints at the lower end of the uh, upper distribution. One thing I failed to mention yesterday where we had an afternoon rally high on the 7th where there were sellers on Wednesday. We had buyers yesterday twice in F and I period. As you notice, they came down and where there were sellers Wednesday, we found buyers to hold our single prints. Again, we have three daily highs very close to each other. So it's going to be interesting if the bulls could get going and get above that, come out of balance and make their way to August high from last year. Uh, big week next week with CPI on Tuesday, Fed Wednesday, uh, option expiration on Friday, rollover start. Some people will be rolling over today. I generally roll over starting on Monday. NQ trading. Now remember, they took back their trend day yesterday, but they are trading above where they're way above their afternoon pullback and trading right around yesterday's high. Righty, which was a very weird day for them yesterday, even by their standards. Um, trading, again, F I would use as an afternoon pullback. Overnight got below it. They're trading towards that level right now. So game plan for this morning. Well, yesterday, uh, you know, again, balance rules are huge. Ten times more important than gap rules. Here is a five-day balance, I'm sorry, yeah, five-day balance, and three of those days are within, spies within seven cents of each other. ES is within two points of each other. I can't imagine there's not stops above here. Now, the volume yesterday almost was in our top 10 lightest. Obviously, in balance, the volume is going to be lighter. So if we're able to generate some energy above here, we could possibly get good tempo and volume and finally go get August high, which is only up at 2750, I believe, in the ES, and it's 431.73 in SPY. I mean, we're literally talking only two dollars, so it wouldn't be that big a deal to get if we get any energy above here. On the flip side, if they keep failing up here, well, again, I'll use Friday as the bottom of the balance, but if we come down and take out yesterday's low, I can't imagine we don't go get it. So, early game plan. Until they prove they can get above this balance, you can front run. Again, there's 75 minutes to go, but I, depending on where the overnight high is, you could either front run that and use yesterday's high as you're out. And on the flip side, on a pullback, you could take a long to front run the overnight low, which is a very visual area, and then either use below F and I as low as you're out or the single print fill as you're out. If in the next 75 minutes we gap higher then things are going to depend how big the gap is. If it's anywhere near August high, I'm not going to be looking for long. But if it's in between August high and above our uh, these pre previous three days highs, then it's a good risk reward long against it and use either the gap fill or the base of the price probe as you're out. And then just quickly on a chart, we'll recap all of these charts tonight on the indices. Um, here it is. Looking at it on the chart, a break above this balance, we're going to go get August high. A break below yesterday's low, we're going, to pro we're going to go get Friday's low, and then we'll see if they want to get into the gap that is held since June 2nd. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.